Yeah. Of these five issues, um, we see we see often a uh, governor in Nambe complain uh, that he has, for example, absolutely no power uh, on, on on these issues uh, that are needed to run uh, the region. Uh, that absolute power is in Jakarta. Uh, one example, so the first example is this fiscal and monetary power. All of it is ranged by Jakarta. Uh, the companies uh, that are part of the uh, that are part of that package deal, the special autonomy package deal, um, they would bring back some money in West Papua, but the the, the company that falls outside of this range and which has to do with uh, fiscal and, and monetary power is Freeport. All of it, all of it goes, all of it uh, um, goes to the to to Jakarta. None of it goes back to uh, to West Papua. From the 400 companies uh, that are in West Papua and that are part of this uh, this, this scheme of uh, special autonomy, um, the fiscal and monetary issues are not uh, do not are not managed by the West Papuans. They are managed under that absolute power that Jakarta has, and Freeport, uh, Freeport is basically a direct uh, uh, line to Jakarta, and, and none of it is, is is going back to West Papua. Jadi, special autonomy itu adalah cara khusus secara ekonomi untuk bagaimana Indonesia tetap mencuri semua hasil kekayaan di Papua. Jadi ada satu undang-undang dalam otonomi khusus setelah mereka berikan otonomi khusus pemerintah Jakarta dan pertambangan mereka mencetak satu undang-undang baru itu yang disebut dengan IUPK. IUPK itu adalah uh, izin usaha pertambangan khusus. Undang-undang IUPK izin usaha pertambangan khusus ini dicetak pada tahun 2017. Undang-undang yang diresmikan dikeluarkan oleh Menteri Pertambangan dan disahkan oleh MPR dan DPR untuk bagaimana semua hasil kekayaan di Papua itu dicuri secara khusus oleh pemerintah Jakarta. Jadi otonomi khusus itu sebuah sistem kolonial untuk mencuri semua kekayaan orang Papua secara khusus dalam undang-undang yang disebut dengan IUPK. Indonesia uh, facilitates uh, the stealing of the wealth of, of the West Papuans uh, by installing some legislations uh, to make it easier. Uh, one of these laws that, that came about uh, was created in 19, no, not in, in 2017. It was the IEUPK, which is a regulation uh, and it stands for the Special Mining Business License which basically facil facilitates uh, um, the taking of the wealth of West Papua uh, and makes it easier for companies to steal and to give part of that money to Jakarta. Jadi, kalau, kalau kita lihat secara teliti bahwa Freeport itu mulai beroperasi pada 1973. 1973 itu Freeport sudah start untuk mengambil emas, perak, dan tembaga dari Papua. Satu tahun itu dalam dalam angka dan dokumen dari pertambangan bahwa Freeport bisa menghasilkan 133 triliun. 133 triliun itu diberikan kepada pemerintah Indonesia. Dalam presentasinya itu sekitar uh, 9, berapa persen begitu. Jadi 133 triliun ini diambil semua oleh Jakarta dan diatur oleh Jakarta. Jadi kalau kita hitung dari tahun 1973 sampai dengan 2018, itu ada sekitar 45 tahun. Dalam waktu 45 tahun, Jakarta mencuri uang rakyat Papua itu 5.988 triliun. Coba bayangkan, 5.000. 88 yeah. trillion. That's a lot of money. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, the example that is given here is, is, is that of Freeport again. Uh, we need to calculate how much money Freeport has been giving to the Indonesian government and how none of it has been going to the West Papuan people. Uh, Freeport has started to operate uh, in 1973. 
Um, and between 1973 and 2018, they have uh, given money to, to, to Indonesia uh, because of, uh, of, of the, 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 the mining of the copper and the gold. Uh, and it is uh, at around 133,15 trillion rupiah in a year. This amount, uh, if we look at uh, the fact that it started in 1973 up to 2018, 45 years of, of, uh, of digging uh, all the gold and the copper, uh, it's about, so it's uh, 133,15 trillion times 45 years. We come at a total of 5,988 trillion rupiah, which was given to Indonesia by Freeport on the back of the West Papuans. Jadi kalau Presiden Jokowi Waktu dia announce di Jakarta, dia bilang bahwa 94,23 triliun diberikan selama 20 tahun. Dari 2001 sampai dengan 2018 itu uang sangat besar. Itu Jokowi dia sangat keliru. Orang Papua punya uang yang Jakarta makan banyak. 20 tahun itu dia hanya kasih dalam otonomi khusus itu. 94,22 triliun saja Jakarta masih mau minta uang dan segala macam. Jadi ini tidak benar. Ini sebuah hal yang bagaimana orang Papua harus menyadari bahwa Jakarta dan ini kita. So Chairman Bomanak is 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 is, uh, is surprised when the president of Indonesia, Jokowi, is complaining that uh, during the 20 years that the special autonomy ran, uh, they gave, they, Jakarta, gave to West Papua 95,24 trillion rupiahs. During 20 years, that is what they gave us, gave between uh, uh, brackets. They gave us 95.24 trillion and he's complaining. And he's not looking at the 45 years uh, of, of, of Freeport giving them 5,988 trillion rupiahs. For them, for the Indonesians, the 20 years of 94 trillion is a lot. What about the 5,988 trillion that West Papua has given to Indonesia for 45 years? So West Papuans have to be aware of this. Did it? Itu hitungan yang saat ini bagaimana Jakarta sulit kasih tinggal Papua Barat itu karena Papua Barat punya uang sangat besar sehingga Jakarta tidak bisa menekan uh, Papua Barat. Dan kalau kita melihat laju pembangunan, pembangunan terjadi di Jakarta, semua aset-aset pembangunan yang ada di Jakarta itu dibangun oleh Belanda. Belanda yang membangun Jakarta, seluruh Jakarta itu dibangun oleh Belanda. Jakarta mulai membangun dirinya itu mulai dari tahun 1978. 1978 itu Indonesia mulai membangun Jakarta atau seluruh Indonesia dengan program Repelita atau rencana pembangunan lima tahun. Program Repelita, rencana pembangunan lima tahun yang dibangun oleh Jakarta itu semua dana dari Freeport yang dipikan ke Jakarta dan Jakarta membangun seluruh provinsi di Indonesia. Um, Jakarta, which is, a, and again, this is an example of what happened to our money. Jakarta, which uh, is a city that was built uh, by the Dutch, um, had constructions that were, uh, that dated from the Dutch colonial time. Uh, but you start seeing changes uh, and developments in the 70s, uh, starting uh, in 1978, uh, you have what you call the the program uh, of uh, the five-year plan that was installed by the Indonesian government to, to manage the country. This five-year plan uh, was financed basically by Freeport. Freeport is, uh, with the gold and the copper that came from West Papua, was financing or has been financing these plans to develop the entirety of, of, of Indonesia and in particular Jakarta 
where you saw or you see all these buildings uh, coming up, the Jakarta becoming a, a modern city starting in the 70s and all that because of the money that Freeport uh, was able to give. 